Hey, good day everybody. I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and we are back again at Sharon Memorial Park in Sharon, Massachusetts. And today we are looking for the final resting place of rock icon Mark Sandman. Now Mark Sandman was the founder, principal songwriter, singer, and the bass player for the band Morphine. Now Morphine was kind of an alt-hip indie rock band out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. And they did not sound like anybody else. And that was primarily because they didn't have a guitar player or a keyboard player. It was Mark Sandman on bass. And even then, he only played two strings. Didn't have the full set of four, only two strings. And then we also had Dana, who played tenor sax. And sometimes he played two saxophones at the same time. And then we had Billy on drums. Sadly, we lost Billy in late 2021. He just passed away shortly, a little bit ago. Now, these guys had about, by 1999, they had four albums uh, released. They were picking up steam. DreamWorks out of Hollywood had picked up their uh, contract and they had big hopes for this band. So they went on a tour, a summer tour of Europe and they're in Palestrina, in uh, Italy, just outside Rome, when into the second song, Super Sex, Mark buckled, he fell back, and he passed away on stage. He was very young, he was 46 years old, it was tragic all the way around. Let me show you where his final resting place is. So when he passed away, the rumors almost started uh, immediately that this had to have been a drug overdose. I mean, come on, the band's name was Morphine, and uh, the lyrics were dark, and he was young, he was only 46, had to have been drugs. Well, it wasn't. And by that logic, then every hockey player on the uh, New Jersey Devils is, you know, an avowed practicing Satan worshiper. So, no. That's not, he, in fact, he, he despised, you know, hardcore drug use and, and uh, you know, that lifestyle. What had, what had happened was, you know, Mark was an intense guy and he was a, he was a four pack a day smoker. In addition to the band, he also had to run a, a record company and a, a recording studio. And he had the pressure of um, the new album. So there was a lot going on there. Yeah, it just started raining all of a sudden. So we'll pick this up. <laughs> no, he passed away from a massive heart attack. Uh, the pathologist in Italy ruled it as such. And there's no mystery to it. It was just a very, very tragic uh, uh, ending to Mark's career. There was great things. And if you're wondering why you haven't heard about morphine, uh, morphine lately was, you know, a lot of it, there was a lot of problems with the family and the record companies, who owned what. But as of uh, 2020, it looks like they patched things up and they have a lot of material they're going to start releasing. 
So if you want to see any of that material, please come out to my website, thetombstonetourist.com. I'm Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. Hope to see you on the website where I've got all their videos, a lot of their interviews with Mark. I've got articles, pictures, you've got it, and full biography. So here we are at Sharon Park Memorial Park, freezing in the rain. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to get some cover. Have an awesome one. Bye.